but we're in an old building here that's uh, dating back to, I think, the 1870s. Uh, our production facility right next door where we actually make the wine um, is a little bit newer building that, that all attached. Uh, Fall City Beer is on the other side of that. Uh, so we're all kind of nestled down here together. Fall City Brewing Company, uh, uh, originally we had a location on Barrett Avenue, um, but when uh, the owners of Old 502 uh, became the co-owner of Fall City, it made sense to move all of the production here. Uh, so uh, we have a really unique uh, thing to offer uh, Louisville uh, that we have a functioning winery and a functioning brewery on site, which uh, I believe is the first of its kind uh, in the country. So it gives us something really unique to offer people that, that come to our tasting room and, and the, uh, the tap room for the uh, brewery. We're a little irreverent with our labels. Um, it, it helps us stand out a little bit in the marketplace. It is a, it's a nice uh, indication of kind of who we are. We just like to do it a little, um, a little strangely down here. And we're an urban winery, which is somewhat unusual, particularly unusual in this part of the country. We make fun of that fact a little bit, that, that we're not in a beautiful idyllic vineyard. Uh, you know, we're down here in the downtown of Louisville uh, and make wine here every day. Uh, it's doable. Uh, we still we still buy from those beautiful vineyards. They just don't happen to be on site. Uh, if we buy Kentucky grapes, we don't tend to buy varietals that people grow well in California. We try to buy varietals that folks grow well in Kentucky. Um, my feeling is that ultimately, uh, Kentucky wines will get known for things that grow well here, not not juice or grapes that we source from other states. So we try to do as much of that as possible and build several of our wines around that. Fall City Brewing Company uh, started in Louisville in 1905. Uh, they did a Berliner Weiss, early 1900s. Uh, uh, a Doppelbach, uh, so they were doing some very interesting beers that if, if a brewery produced on the day uh, it would be considered a very craft concentric brand. Uh, so they grew to um, nearly uh, half a million barrels uh, production a year which is a staggering amount of volume uh, but they were the largest regional uh, brewery and they actually made it through the uh, prohibition um, uh, but when they came out the other side uh, they began to do um, less flavor uh, forward beers uh, and uh, just did not do as good of a job competing against some of the larger breweries and uh, famed of sorts. The last effort that they had was uh, they produced Billy Beer. It just did not pan out the way that they really needed it to. So they moved the brand uh, to uh, Evansville at one point uh, and I believe it was also located in Cincinnati at another point. Uh, basically they made it right up to um, uh, 2000s um, and then that's where we picked it up 2009-2010. Uh, uh, You'll hear people say, I didn't even know Fall City was back in Louisville. That's why, uh, you know, our pale, uh, that's really our homage to the beer that Fall City was producing in the early days. Um, uh, I wish we could find the exact recipe, but that should be a pretty close representation. Um, but then we have, uh, for, for my generation, hipster repellent, uh, IPAs are, are a very important part of the craft beer scene, so uh, we can kind of hit both generations with two beers that way. Right now we produce, at any given time, probably about nine wines. Uh, we really have not added as many as I would have thought we would have a couple of years ago, but that's primarily because we have a hard time just keeping up with what we already have. We share a tasting room here with Fall City Beer. Um, we have a fair number of uh, events that go on here from time to time, but, but as much as anything, we just want to have a central location where people can come learn a bit of, uh, about our product, maybe tour the facility where we actually make it. We've had a lot of expansion that's going on right now. Uh, we've actually doubled the production capacity uh, we're putting that in right now. So um, once we do that, it'll also help expand those offerings, I think, that we, uh, we would like to get out going forward.